Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 2020 USCAA Women's Division II Basketball National Championship Selection Show. In the next several minutes, we will unveil those teams selected to play in the USCAA's inaugural Small College National Championships. As a note, the Penn State University Athletic Conference and the Yankee Small College Conference had not entered postseason play at the time of production of this bid video. Several of the institutions may be impacted due to institutional criteria criteria, as well as the result of postseason play. For those reasons, the seeding of this bracket will be announced on Monday, March 2nd, at the conclusion of both the PSUAC and the YSCC championships being held on Sunday, March 1st. And now, we begin our selections of Women's Division II Basketball with the top seed in the 10-team 2020 field. In the top spot for the number one overall seed in 2020 will be, from Monaca, Pennsylvania, the Penn State University Beaver Lions. The Lady Lions are 21-4 in their regular season campaign and undefeated in the Penn State University Athletic Conference heading into the tournament. Beaver will be a tough defensive matchup, allowing only 57 points per game. As a the team, they rank second in the nation in steals with 19 per game. They are led offensively by Diamond Thomas, who puts up 16 points per game and is currently second in the association in steals. She is followed by Alexis Cross, who averages 15 points per game. Both are All-American nominees. The next team in line for a bid, but still with work to do, is perennial Yankee Conference powerhouse Central Maine Community College from Auburn, Maine. The Lady Mustangs must win the Yankee Small College Conference Tournament to claim their spot in this year's championships. At 23-3, Central Maine led the nation in points per game with 83.1 and are second in assists per game with 18.7. The Mustangs average 21.6 steals and allow 46.3 points per game, both of which top the USCAA. Key players to watch should Central Central Maine qualify are Natalie Thurber and Eliza Brault. Next up in the field will be a guaranteed at-large qualifier. From Buffalo, New York, the Villa Maria Vikings. Villa Maria finished the regular season at 18-4, losing three of their four losses to USCAA D1 competition. Villa's notable wins include Teal, two USCAA D1 wins, and a win against the top-ranked Penn State Beaver. They rank first in the association in three-point percentage, shooting almost 35% from beyond the arc. They also rank top five in field goal percentage, assists per game, and points per game. The offense for the Vikings will flow through to Kayla Winifield, who leads the USCAA in three-point percentage, shooting over 47%. She is also third in the association in assists per game. Next up is an at-large qualifier, the University of Maine Machias from Machias, Maine. The Lady Clippers are 19-7 on the regular season and 13-3 in Yankee Small College Conference play. They rank first in the association in field goal percentage at 45.3% and have the top two leading individual points per game contributors. Tate Dolly leads the nation with 28.2 points per game, followed by Caitlin Lyons with 22.7 points per game. Fifth in the final standings and guaranteeing an at-large bid is, from Batavia, Ohio, the University of Cincinnati Claremont Lady Cougars. UC Claremont finished their season at 18-6 and, and were perfect on home court. The Cougars are a tough offensive matchup, ranking in the top 10 in the nation in shooting percentage and three-point shooting percentage. They averaged 73.3 points per game, highlighted by Anna Voskul, who was fourth in the association in points per game with 19 Point two. She also averages almost eight rebounds per game. She is complemented by Christy Duncan, who posts 14.5 points per game, 8.5 rebounds, and 2.5 steals. The next team in contention for a berth to the 2020 Small College National Championships is, from Media, Pennsylvania, Penn State University Brandywine. Brandywine must win the PSUAC Championship to qualify. They finished the regular season 18-7 and, and is highlighted by All-American candidate Nikki Velez, who posts an impressive 19.2 points per game and made 91 three-pointers this season. 
The next team in top contention for the PSUAC championship is Penn State Lehigh Valley. The Lions were 16-9 this season and 14-4 in conference play. Should Lehigh Valley qualify, you should watch for Ebony Sanders, who averages a double-double with 15.5 points and 17 rebounds per game. The next spot in the field is a guaranteed at-large bid, which will go to, from South Portland, Maine, the Southern Maine Community College Seawolves. SMCC is 22-5 on the year and ranks second in the nation in points per game with 79. They are led by Amanda Brett, who puts in 16.8 points per game and is a Player of the Year candidate this season. As a team, the Seawolves are first in the nation in assists and rebounds. This is SMCC's second consecutive Executive appearance in Uniontown. Following SMCC will be the final locked at large bid, which will go to, from Charlotte, North Carolina, the Lady Wildcats of Johnson and Wales University, Charlotte. Johnson and Wales faced a grueling schedule this season, but at 11 11 will be a formidable opponent. As a team, they finished third in the association in three point percentage, fourth in overall shooting percentage, and averaged 74.6 points per game. Their leading scorer is Jemiah Montesol, who averaged just over 16 points points per contest. Jada Morgan was fifth in the association in three-point percentage, shooting over 38% from beyond the arc. Defensively, they are led by Anisha Hankerson, who boasts 12.1 rebounds per game, good enough for eighth in the nation. The next bid will go to an automatic qualifier from Lamont Furnace, Pennsylvania, the Penn State University Fayette Lions. At 16-8, the Lady Lions earn their final host bid on the backs of four players averaging more than 10 points per game, including Caitlin Riley, who is leading the team with 17 points per game. She is followed by Taylor McCormick, Brooke Poling, and Daylin Burnsworth. McCormick also ranks seventh in the nation in assists and steals. The final automatic qualifier and guaranteed spot in the 2020 USCAA National Championships goes to, from Albany, New York, the Albany College of Pharmacy and Health Sciences. The Lady Panthers earned their spot in this year's championship by winning the Hudson Valley Intercollegiate Athletic Conference Championship. They are highlighted by national team rankings in three-point percentage, where they rank fifth, and rebounds per game, where they rank eighth. A couple players to watch for the Lady Panthers are senior guard Emma Webster, who averages 17.5 points per game, and Claire Snell, who is fifth in the nation in steals with 85 and puts up 16.3 points per game. We now move to teams currently on the bubble should Central Maine not qualify or as Penn State Beaver wins the PSUAC. The next spot would go to, from Berrien Springs, Michigan, the Andrews University Cardinals. The Lady Cardinals were 9-10 on the year and are led by junior forward Jade Broussard, who is averaging 17.4 points and 15.7 rebounds per game. She is complemented by Sarah Page, who averages 14.2 points per game. The final bubble team for the 2020 National Championships goes to the University of Maine Augusta from Augusta, Maine. The Moose were 14-8 overall this season and 11-6 in Yankee Small College Conference play. The team has four players who average more than 10 points per game, each of which is an underclassman. Leading the way is Madeline Sir, who averages a double-double with 17.5 points and 11 rebounds per game. As a reminder, the official seating of this tournament field will be released on Monday morning upon the conclusion of the PSUAC and YSCC conference tournaments. Be sure to check the USCAA.com for the most up-to-date scheduling information. Tournament participants will stay at the beautiful Seven Springs Mountain Resort, including wonderful slopeside lodging options, seven restaurants, a bowling alley, arcade, and snow tubing activities for participants. Visit sevensprings.com for more information and a property tour. Don't forget, you can watch all games live online at basketball.theuscaa.com slash live. An SD streaming option will be available for free with an HD upgrade at a small cost to the viewer. The USCAA's basketball tournament website, basketball.theuscaa.com, is the one-stop shop for live stats, results, schedules, and all other items related to tournament play. 
please make sure to follow the USCAA on social media, which will keep you up to date on all the happenings from tournament play. Thank you for joining us for the 2020 USCAA Women's Division II Basketball Selection Show. We look forward to seeing you in Uniontown, Pennsylvania, March 7th through the 11th.